Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Lift Raw, and we are back on the Redstone world working on the Redstone computer for you guys. So today we're going to be focusing on building the actual keyboard that you guys see in the thumbnail of the video. Now, of course, colors may vary. You can choose whatever color theme you want, but I'm going to be using red wool and brown wool for my texture pack, okay? And I'll give you just first the dimensions of the keyboard. As you can see, it is very large compared to the screen. And because I am so OCD and I realize some of you are as well, I like to line up the keyboard dead center with the screen. So if you remember, uh, even if you built the same screen as I did, the screen itself was 53 blocks wide. Okay, so this section I actually marked them with gray wool uh, from that gray wool to that gray wool right there is actually 53 blocks. So of course, we're going to need 26 more blocks on either side to give it a grand total of 105 blocks wide. Now you ask, why so wide? Well, it's because each actual key that we have is a block seven by seven. And then we have one space in between each block. Okay, we'll call them blocks. The just the unit is just an entire block itself. Okay, so we'll call that just a block, just for simplicity. So then we have we have that entire row. Uh, sorry, row. Okay, and then we have two more rows beneath it. Now, if you look at your keyboard right now, you may notice the number pad above it or the the, the numbers uh, number keys above it along with the different like at symbol and pound key and everything like that and the ampersand there's all above it we're not going to be dealing with those I mean if you want to you're more than welcome to uh, go ahead and mess around with the actual segment displayers to make it produce those however we're just going to keep it simple with just letters and numbers so we're going to have all the letters going across the top and then a s d f g h j k l going along the second row and then we're going to be doing C, V, B, N, and M and also a period along the bottom. Okay? And then we're going to have our final one as this space bar along the very bottom. On the right hand side we're going to have our 7, 8, 9, 4, 5, 6 and 1, 2, 3 and then our 0 at the very bottom. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to speed build this uh, but first I'm going to show you guys up close how this actually works. So you can see we have our key right here or our block unit so the 7x7 seven seven is nice because it is a decent size but it also allows us to produce all the letters here so you can clearly see what key is for what uh, without having to put a sign um, the nice thing is we can place pressure plates right in the uh, area um, that produces the letter and if we walk across them you can see it'll actually light it up the way we have this is we have redstone, if I could delete some of this for you guys. We have redstone right underneath here, one block underneath, just going around in the shape of the letter. So no, no matter what actual pressure plate you stand on above there, it'll send the signal through here. So again, like I'll walk um, over here on, on top of this one. You can see that it lights up. If we go back here, it lights up. And if we go and let it go and then frontward lights up so it's nice and I may be thinking where are we gonna run all the redstone for this well we're gonna be doing it in layers this is why we wanted to have the world quite deep and this is why I warned you guys uh, if you not have a deep world I just want to tell you right now you might want to raise your keyboard up a little bit so you have enough room we're basically gonna be having this one is the highest one but still it's gonna be hidden underground like this okay so you can't see it the one behind it, we're going to be working in columns. The the one behind it in the, the second letter in the column is going to be, uh, I believe, two blocks deeper. So it can still support this block, but then have space so it's not interference. And then the third uh, letter in the column will be at the very bottom, uh, again, two blocks down from that other line. Okay, so they're just going to be working in row, uh, sorry, yeah, rows just stacked on top of each other. It'll be easy. Um, you just... If it helps, you guys can go ahead and label them and make sure you realize and remember which key is which. So I'm going to go ahead and do a speed build. And if you guys are confused, you can just either slow down the video or pause it and uh, rewind it to what I said. So thanks for watching. If I don't tell you this later, and uh, I'll get right into this. <laughs> 